Black Metal Theory Lesson 2. Today we're going to talk about power chords, major chords and minor chords. So first off, what is a power chord? A power chord is a chord that consists of two notes, your root note and an interval called the perfect fifth. What is a root note? The root note is the main note. Generally, it's the lowest note you play when playing power chords. And the perfect fifth is an interval where the note is seven frets higher from your root note. So again, let's just quickly refer back to all of our notes. So we're gonna start on the A note here, fifth fret on low E. And now we're gonna go up seven frets to the next note, which is E, right here on the 12th fret. But we can't play both notes together on the same string. So we have to move down to our A string and find an E note on the A string, which is on the seventh fret. So there's your E, seventh fret on A, and then there's your A note on the fifth fret of low E. So you got A note here, and E. And together, this makes the power chord. And of course, that can be applied to anywhere else on the neck. So if we take this note here, for example, we're starting on a D, the fifth fret of the A string. The next note we need to play, which is the perfect fifth, is on the seventh fret of the D string, the note of A. D and A. A power chord, D power chord. So that's what a power chord is consisted of. And you can extend this a bit further by adding another root note, something called an octave, which is where you play the same note as your root note, just higher. So if we go back to this A chord, the notes we'll be playing are A, the fifth fret on low E, E, the seventh fret on the A string, and another A here, which is on the seventh fret of the D string. Giving us our three note power chord. Here's our two note version. Here's our three note version. So that wraps up power chords. So it consists of a root note and a perfect fifth. Now, onto minor chords. So what makes a minor chord? A root note and an interval called a minor third. A minor third is the note that's three frets higher from your root note. Let's use A as the example. So we play the fifth fret on low E, which is the A note. And then we find what our next note is, which is on the eighth fret of low E, making the C note. There's our two notes, A and C. But again, we can't put, play those two notes on one string, which means we have to play the chord like this. Fifth fret on low E with your ring finger, and your index finger on the third fret on the A string, playing the C note. And because this is a two note chord, we call them dyads. So this chord, which I've just shown you, is your A minor dyad. Now, we can also add a perfect fifth onto this chord, creating a full triad variant of the A minor chord. So a triad is a three note chord. And the way we turn this A minor dyad into a triad is to add a perfect fifth on top. So we will have our root note, our minor third, and perfect fifth. The notes are A, C, and E. A on the low E, fifth fret. C on the third fret of A. And now our perfect fifth. We know already that we have a perfect fifth on the seventh fret of the D string. But we can't play these three notes together. We can't play the same notes on the A string. We can't play the C and the E at the same time. So we need to find another E. So we move our first finger to the D string on the second fret, which has our E note. So now we'll play the chord as so. Five on E, three on A, two on D. So cool black metal trick is to change from a minor dyad to the power chord. So for example, we can play this E minor dyad here, seven on A and five on D. And then we just use our little finger to play the perfect fifth. So we replace this minor third with our perfect fifth. Building the E power chord. And again, you can take 
take that same shape and move it across the neck. <laughs> Now another common minor shape in black metal is this, our bar chord shape. So I'm going to show you first as an A minor bar chord. Now this is a chord that involves you fretting all the six strings, 5 on low E, 7 on A, 7 on D, 5, 5, 5 on G, B and high E. So what's the notes order? What are the intervals that we're playing? So we have our root note, which is the fifth fret on low E, our perfect fifth, which is the seventh fret on A. Then we have our octave, which is also basically the root note on the seventh fret of D. Then we have our minor third interval playing the C note on the fifth fret of G. This is a very important note because this is the note that defines the minor chord sound. You can't create a minor chord without the minor third. And then we repeat the fifth here with this E note here, fifth fret on B. And again, we just have another A note on the fifth fret of the high E, giving us this sound. <laughs> the same structure and you can take the same chord and move it up and down the neck because that's the beauty of the guitar we can just keep this one shape move it up and down and we're changing the chords as an example we can play an A minor here because we have our A note on the low E and then we can play an F minor on the first fret of low E following that same shape one three three one 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 The second minor chord shape is a different kind of bar chord. I'm going to show you E minor right here. 7 on A, 9 on D, 9 on G, 8 on B, and 7th fret on high E, giving us the E minor chord. And what's the notes and the intervals? We have our root note on the 7th fret on A, perfect 5th on the 9th fret of D, our octave, also the root note, ninth fret on G. We have our minor third right here on the eighth fret of B and seventh fret on the high E, which is another fifth. And just like the other bar chord shape, you can move it up and down the neck. So here is E. There's E minor, and then you can move it to C minor with your first finger on the third fret following exactly the same shape. And now let's just quickly talk about major chords because there's only a few major chord shapes that are used in black metal. The main one is the major dyad. So if we go from our A minor dyad, all we need to do is sharpen your minor third and then it becomes a major third. So a major third is four frets up from your root note and there you'll find the note for your major third. So that will be our note C sharp. And that is mostly used in 90% of black metal, this major chord shape. You can also turn it into your A major triad, which is again, taking the A minor triad here and sharpening your note where the minor third is. So it becomes a major third. So instead of playing the third fret on A, you play the fourth fret on A. It's a much different sound. A minor. A major. And that mostly wraps up major chords. Now the fun thing that you can do with this new knowledge is that you can kind of create your own chords and your own kind of riffs now because you've learned the fretboard. But I'm gonna teach you a few more 
Now these are what I call the immortal or abeth chord shapes. And they're played like this. <laughs> The first one I played is a type of minor chord, and it's an E minor, but the structure and the way we play the chord is a bit differently. So we still have our root note, which is the seventh fret on A. We still have our minor third, which is the fifth fret of D. But this extra note here is another E note, which is the octave. So we have our root note, our third, and the octave. <laughs> giving us this more open style of sound. And the second shape is the major immortal slash abeth chord shape. It's the same thing, but just applied to major dyads. So here, we'll play the D major dyad here. Fifth fret on A, fourth fret on D. And then we just need to play our octave on top, which is another D note right here on the seventh fret of G. that chord shape move it up and down the neck and change them as well. So that is a very very simple description of major minor chords and power chords.